would be the answer. Number five, if you could have your brows permanently done or not wear blush for the rest of your life, which would you choose? I would, I would get my brows permanently done. Like, who wouldn't? I never used to wear blush. I own a lot of blush for someone who never used to wear it. Uh, when I was, particularly when I was younger, I never ever wore blush. I only ever wore eyeshadow and lipstick and mascara. I also never wore foundation. <laughs> I used to only ever wear tinted moisturizer. So there you go. Uh, number six, does your best friend or you wear more makeup? It would definitely be me. Um, most of my friends don't even wear makeup. Unless it's a special occasion, and usually if it's a special occasion, they come to me and ask me to do their makeup, because they don't have any makeup. Uh, so, yeah, definitely me. Um, and it was like that when I was at school. I was the person who wore the most makeup and had the most makeup and knew the most about that stuff. Uh, number seven, who taught you how to do makeup? Poor is an interesting question. It's, I've heard so many people say YouTube, which is really funny to me, because uh, I learned to use makeup before YouTube was a thing. Um, many, many moons ago, my mother uh, took me to be color, color match thing. It's our weather: your autumn, summer, spring, winter. And as a result of that, she bought me a book, which, or she bought a book, which was based on those color theories, um, and it had the kind of uh, makeup that is that should be worn by people of certain skin tones, and um, and depending on what their color was. So, Mum and I were both color match. We're both autumn, um, which is sort of the is a warm kind of thing. It's really funny because I have pink undertones. <laughs> But a lot of that is probably because I'm a redhead. Not that you can tell these days because my hair's like white and grey. Um, but in that book, there was sections on uh, doing makeup, like eye looks and stuff like that. So I learned a bit from that. Um, and on uh, like magazines and stuff, they would have information in them in them on how to do like certain eye looks and stuff. So I would um, read those kind of magazines. Um, they don't really seem to do it anymore, but things like Woman's Day and Woman's Weekly, like the English Woman's Weekly and stuff used to have that kind of thing in it. Um, or I would buy magazines that were specifically makeup based type magazines that had different looks in them and stuff. So. That was a lot of the uh, where I got stuff from. Um, as I got a bit older, um, Avon um, used to have stuff like that that showed different ways of doing different eye looks. Uh, my sister-in-law used to do Nutramatics, so she had a bit of that kind of stuff as well. Um, a lot of it was just playing around and having fun with makeup and because my mum didn't used to wear makeup very much my grandmother used to wear lipstick and face powder and that was pretty much it and my mum only ever really wore makeup on special occasions um, so they're not, certainly not who taught me how to do it <laughs> it was more that I, I read a lot and um, found out that way how to do it I would borrow books from the library on makeup application and uh, learn to do it that way and, you know, I mean, yeah, in recent times, YouTube has taught me new techniques and new ways of doing things. And doing my beauty training, um, there was some things that I learned. It was funny because most of the stuff that I was doing, I already was doing myself anyway. Um, <laughs> which my lecturer pointed out. It's like, you seem to already know all of this. Yeah, um, you know, I'm 43. I've been around the blocks a little bit, and I've probably been wearing makeup on and off since I was about 12, 11 or 12. Um, so you just kind of work out what works best for you, I guess. Um, number eight, are you a fan of cream products? Blush, bronzer, contour, etc. Why or why not? Uh... I don't really like cream products. Uh, maybe it's just because I don't find myself being comfortable using them. If I was comfortable using them, I probably would use them more. And now that my skin's getting drier, it seems like the better way to go. Um, but 
Uh, we did, like when I was doing my beauty training, we used cream contour and cream highlight and um, that sort of idea. Not so much cream blush, more um, using cream contour underneath the foundation so that this area is darker without having to really do too much, depending on the foundation you're using clearly. Um, yeah, it's, it's not my favourite. Like I'm currently using a cream highlighter and while one of them is fine, one of the other ones, the texture of it's just weird and I don't really enjoy it. Um, I, I really don't have a lot of... I think I've got rid of most of my cream blushes that I had because I really just didn't like them, so I didn't use them. Um, yeah. I think the only product I ever had that was cream-based that I used a lot was I had a cream bronzer multi-stick thing that came from Avon or Nutramedics or one of those places which you could use for your um, cheeks and lips and stuff and it was in a bronzy tone and I used to use that quite a bit um, but that would be about it. Uh, number nine, are you a project panner? What projects are you in right now? Yes, I'm a project panner. Uh, I am doing a an ABC project. I'm doing Birthstone Beauties project. I'm doing Every Day is a Holiday project. I'm doing Peeping Pan project, Lip Service project. Um, yeah, I think they're all of the, the project pans I'm currently doing. I don't think I forgot any. Oh, and skin is in. I knew there was another one. Um, yeah, so they're all year-long projects. Um, I'm, I'm doing a reading project as well, which is technically kind of the same sort of thing. Um, and there's another project which I've just started, which, although most people are doing Project Pan, I'm doing it more as doing a nail art every month because I don't need another Project Pan at the moment. Um, but I'll probably join some shorter term ones later in the year um, after I've used up some of the stuff that's currently in projects when I don't have so quite so much going on. Uh, I'm also doing one this month which is basically just focused on green, yellow, gold type products. Just a short one month one with a couple of other people from one of the groups I'm in. Um, which I'm using basically to focus my attention on those products that I've already got in projects because I'm finding that works a lot better. So, yeah. Um, and number 10, setting spray, do you believe in it? Which is your holy grail? Um, I use the setting spray. Um, I more use, well, I, I guess it's the setting spray. I use it more to tone things down and make everything kind of like meld together more than anything else. I used to use it quite a bit uh, when I was using powder a bit just to make the powder not so powdery but I haven't been using powder as much because um, I've actually found that this particular foundation which I don't particularly like works a lot better if I don't set it funnily enough um, except under my eyes. Um, so yeah. Uh, yes, I use setting spray. I don't have a holy grail. The one that I tend to buy the most is the Australis one because I like the smell of it. Um, I haven't really tried a whole heap of them and most of them are just glycerin and water. There's nothing special about them. So, yeah, they just, they are what they are. You know, I'm not... Uh, sorry, something just crawled on my foot. <laughs> I don't have any shoes on. I'm sitting outside. I don't have any shoes on. Uh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I don't have a holy grail. Um, I don't know that I believe in setting sprays. I think they have their place as most makeup items have their place, depending on what you're doing. Uh, yeah, but then again, they're probably a bit gimmicky. So, um, the sun's just come out from behind a thing. So, uh, yeah. So that is the makeup style tag. I will leave the questions down below. So if you haven't done this and you want to do it, then you can actually go and do it. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Leave me a thumbs up. If you like tag type videos and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya. This is El Doggo who keeps on um, making noise in my videos. As you can see, she doesn't know how to sit still. Lexi. Lexi. <laughs> Lexi. Come here. Sit. Sit down. Good girl. Can I say hello?
You gonna run around the backyard? Hey? Yeah, you're beautiful, eh? Yeah, you are. You're crazy, but you're beautiful. Yeah. Hey? You gonna say hello to YouTube? Lexi? Yeah. Alrighty, off we go. Uh, she has a habit of running around and around in circles. Like that. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. All right, guys.